Everyone knows that fiat currencies and central banks, they got a lot of stuff going on. It's super complex and nuanced, but there's a lot of charades. It's a confidence game. And recently, Jon Stewart on a podcast asked a former central banker what he thought about all this. And I got to say, I'm absolutely blown away by what was said. Literally, the central bankers are now saying the secrets out loud. Don't believe me? Here's the clip that's going viral all over the internet. How much currency that has been sort of created out of thin air has been added into this economy through the Fed? What would you put as a figure? Would it be six trillion? Is that too much? It would be, yeah, six trillion in, in terms of deposits with the banks and currency. Be six to seven trillion. Okay. That they're, that they're just injecting into it sort of out of nothing. Uh, out of nothing. They're, they're the, it's the central <laughs> bank of the United uh, States. Now, oh my think God. About it. It's just another form of government debt. Am I, am I making sense? It, you know, it makes sense in the make-believe world of conjuring. Like, <laughs> there is a certain part of this that all feels like a mirage to some extent. Do you know what I mean? It, it all yeah, seems sort yeah. of fake. Well, it, it is, it's, it's a fiduciary system. It's all right. faith-based, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my Lord. Yes, you gotta have confidence in that currency, in that dollar, because there's nothing back and there's no gold back in so it. So it's in some ways, it's a mass delusion. Well. Now, of course, it is absolutely hilarious to see Jon Stewart learning, getting red-pilled, and also hearing it directly from a central banker's mouth. There is nothing backing fiat currencies. It's all a confidence game. It's make-believe. It's a mass delusion. These are terminologies that used to be thrown around by conspiracy theorists or in corners of the internet. But now we literally have one of the most famous talking heads in the world, and Jon Stewart, going ahead, talking directly to a former central banker, and him confirming all of it. When the central bankers start to say the secrets out loud, people need to pay attention. This is a great way to orange pill the people in your life. Send it to your friends, send it to your family, send it to your cousin, your brother, your mom, or your wife. Send it to everyone. Because when the central bankers start to say the secrets out loud, all of a sudden, people start to pay attention. They say, why am I trusting all of my net worth, all of my portfolio, all of my financial well-being in something that is simply a confidence game? If, on the edge case, confidence was lost, that would be bad. Now, of course, I have dollars, my brothers have dollars, and so does everyone watching this. The dollar is the global reserve currency, but more and more people are waking up and saying, maybe I shouldn't have 100% dollars. Maybe I should actually have a hedge. Maybe it's a chaos hedge, maybe it's insurance, but maybe you should get some in case it catches on, in the words of Satoshi Nakamoto. And so seeing this is pretty incredible. Jon Stewart learning and laughing, central bankers admitting all the secrets. I think we are starting to see the erosion of trust, the erosion of the illusion, and ultimately, the entire world is getting orange pills.